what do Scottish people think about people who like kilts purely as fashion? For instance, you know, <coughs> men or women who don't have a heritage connection, they just like the way a kilt looks, think it's practical, comfortable, etc. What do Scots think about people who wear kilts as a fashion thing? Let's go beyond it. Let's incorporate the other. Let's go, what do Scots think about either fashion or Americans, Canadians, Australians, expats, whatever. Non-Scots. Non-Scots wearing kilts. Okay. Um, there's the minority and there's the majority. There. Are, let's start with the minority. Um, you're going to have people who don't like it or who want to be jerks about certain things in any culture. You're going to have... Uh, I, I immediately go to this kind of, you know, close the door behind you kind of mentality. There are Scots in the Highlands who would say only Highlanders should wear a kilt. It was a Highland garment. That's it. It should stop at the Highlands, period. Other Scots are going to say, no, 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 I'm from Edinburgh. I should be able to wear a kilt. A kilt is a, a pan. It's a Scottish garment. It's Scottish national dress. Scots should be able to wear kilts. But that's it. You're also going to have people from, you know, London or anywhere in England or from Northern Isle, wherever, saying, no, 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 anyone in the UK should be able to wear kilts, but that's it. You're going to have Americans, Canadians, whoever, saying, well, I have Scottish ancestry, therefore I should be able to wear a kilt, but no one else, aside from, you know, the Scots. So it's, there are, there's a certain subset of people who will always say, I want to close the door behind myself. I want to draw a circle so that I'm inside the circle, but those outside the circle aren't allowed, but I am, and just I am. Mm. Those would, in my estimation, be in the minority. Based on the YouTube, yeah. Facebook, all that kind of stuff, comments that we get, those are definitely in the minority. Um, the vast majority of Scots that I know personally, whether it's through travels to Scotland, whether it's business dealings, whether it's just, you know, bumping into on the street in Glasgow, whatever, it's, they think it's awesome that you are wearing a kilt, whether you have Scottish heritage or whether you just love the kilt, period. The kilt or tartan is Scotland's gift to the world. It's what, you know, it's, 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 it's Pandora's box. It's been open. People <laughs> well, yeah, love it. Way. And it's one of those things where once it's out of the box, it's, it's it's fun and people are embracing it and they love it. And as long as they're not disparaging it as a symbol of Scotland, in my mind and in most Scots minds, it's fine. If you go into fashion, every time they come out with the color of the year or what's in this season or whatever, it's always tartan is in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's always in. Right, right. <laughs> like it's right. never not in. It's always, it's either in the background as kind of in, or it's in the foreground as in, this is the thing this year. Mm -hmm. Whether it's Brooks Brothers or Johnny Rotten from the Sex Pistols, it's always been there kind of floating around. It's always cool. There's something about it that speaks to people yeah. outside of Scotland, as well as inside of Scotland, as well as heritage, as well as fashion. It's a thing. And it's, as I said, it's Pandora's box. It's been opened and people love it. And the vast majority of Scots appreciate that. They see it as their culture catching on and, and other people thinking you're cool. Oh no, please don't think I'm cool. You stop doing that because I'm, I'm the only one who's allowed to be cool. Like, I don't, I don't get right, it. Right. There are people who think that way, but as I said, they are the vast minority. Mm -hmm. I got, I got nothing I can add. That's, 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 no, that sums it, no, I, I think stole that's your great. No, not really. I mean, it's the, I do think you have, um, <laughs> it's, it's in the world of fashion now. I mean, and I think you, you have different people will take it in different directions. Now that the gift has been given, some people are going to take that gift and enjoy it every day and keep it exactly as it is. Other people are going to do something weird with it, you know, push it so, forward, yeah, push it do, forward yeah. or, or, or change it around. Angle. I mean, you're yeah. going to have for everybody who's, wearing tweeds that look like they came off of an estate, you know, for, for deer stalking. You've got somebody else who's doing the Vivian Westwood thing and going totally crazy fashion with it. Um, so it's not a bad thing. And I don't think I've never gotten the sense that Scots in general feel like the kilt has been stolen from them. There's a, there are a few snobs. There are a few people who, who, you know, are concerned about, about, uh, watering down of traditional culture, we could say. But that's but 
worrying about it like that is not what's going to help that situation. It's going to be maintaining the traditions and educating people um, so they see it and have the example is what's going to preserve the culture, you know, being a good ambassador of the culture. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think kilts are fashion. They'll never not be a part of fashion. There will always you know? be the standard bearers. People who say that, you know, this is the tradition. This is how it's done. As long as those people exist, and I would kind of lump us in with that. Yeah. Um, pushing the, the culture and the tradition aspect of it, it's going to be fine. Even if Vivian Westwood or Johnny Rotten or whoever does something different with it, it's fine because it's a random tangential thing. It's not the whole thing changing. You're not changing yep. the, yep. You know, the clan tartans. You're not changing everything. You're just doing your own thing with it. And then some people kind of follow you down that route for a little bit because they think it's fun, it's cool. Other people will say, nope, I'm gonna stick with the traditional stuff. There's plenty of room for both. Yeah, I think, and, and if you're doing something fashion forward with it, you you always go back to the well of the traditions of it. And even if you're seeing that fashion forward of, version of it, some part of your brain still clicks to, this is based on this tradition. You can't, it doesn't exist in a vacuum, yep. you know? There's those, those tendrils of memory and association are always gonna be there. So I think the traditional stuff is fine. Fashion is cyclical. It's all going to come around, yeah, whether it's that too. the Downton Abbey effect, whether it's Peaky Blinders from the, you know, all those shows from, or, or Boardwalk Empire from the, the, the early 1900s, late, late 1800s. It's, it's all becoming cool again, and it will all go through cycles. Tradition will always be there as a common thread and will move and evolve much slower. And the people, people in Scotland may cling to that, certain people may cling to that a little bit more, but... Scotland, as a very progressive country, will likes to do fun, different stuff. Likes to have the fashion Nichols evolution be. of it. Yeah, that's Howie what I was, I was That's what I was going to say earlier. Is Howie Nichols. <clears throat> I was going to bring example. him up during the during the great kilt thing. Howie Nicholsby's point of he's trying to make kilts an everyday garment of clothing again. Other people are kind of coming at it from the other angle, saying, "No, I'm not going to make denim kilts to make it everyday clothing. I'm going to make great kilts with a dress shirt." everyday clothing and they're just coming at it from different angles but if mm -hmm. you're just incorporating it into their daily you know right. wardrobe mm -hmm. into who they are as individuals yep. yep there's no it's not a time capsule yep yep things move things will move. some people, people move. be angry about that yes will some people cry about it yes do i care not really and, and yeah it's, it's not that many people so yep. all right so end of the sermon hey guys if you enjoyed this video please check out these other videos that we've done if you like the whole video and the whole channel and the whole thing that we're doing, give us a thumbs up. And remember, please subscribe and ring the bell.